Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. This is going to be a new video in the MCP playlist. I already have created seven other videos in the same playlist. And in this eighth video of MCP playlist, we're going to do something crazy. We're going to see how we can use MCP on NetN. If you don't know NetN, it's a no code platform to build agentic AI system or build Gen AI applications. You know, you can do a lot of things on NetN. It's just an automation platform where you can use drag and drop components to build applications faster. Now, we can use MCP on NetN as well, and NetN has been uh, really famous lately, right? There are other automation platforms like Gumloop, T5, Make.com, Flowwise, and so on and so forth. Hundreds of others, right? But NetN is the most famous one because it's, of course, it's also open source and it has a stronger community. And they have been bringing a lot of new features like every week kind of a thing. So we're going to see how we can use MCP on NetN. And uh, let's jump in. So if you look at here on my screen, I already have created a demo workflow and of course we're going to build this uh, it's very easy you can see it says when chat message received okay this is your first then we have an ai agent and then we have our chat model which is an open ai chat model there's an mcp client you know that have combined with tool and then mcp client well, let's first run it and then we're going to start it from scratch so when i open chat okay uh, maybe i'll just paste this and when i paste it you can see it's everything is running over here Okay, open AI chat model, MCP client. Okay, and I already have asked this question over here. So if you can see it, you can see it here. Use Brave web search tool to find out latest on Thailand earthquake. There has been an earthquake in uh, Thailand and Myanmar, right? So uh, you can see it, it has given a very good answer. It says here are the, I have to make it a little big. You can see here are the latest news articles about the Thailand earthquake, Myanmar in pictures, blah, blah, blah. It gives you the link, it gives you the answers and everything. So it's fantastic that right? I have been asking the questions and you can see it has used MCP client where we are using brave web search. Okay. Uh, and then we are using MCP client one that execute the tools. It takes it from here. I'll show you how we're going to uh, stitch it together, all the components. Now, uh, this is a demo and I'm going to start a new workflow for you. So you build it from scratch and you get an idea of how we can do it. So let's do that now. All right. So you can see we have nothing over here. There's no component on NetN. And if you haven't used NetN, I'll give a video link in description of uh, my previous NetN video where you can see how we can use Docker to run NetN. You can see my NetN is running over here. I have an NetN uh, thing here, containers, and I have a lot of containers running within it. I'm using Olama, NetN, NetN import, so on and so forth. So I have my container running and it it opens at localhost 5678. So if you never, if you have never worked with NetN, go and watch my videos in the uh, in the description. Uh, the link is there, and you will you will be able to set up NetN. The moment you set up NetN, you have to come to these settings. Now, okay, I can we can just save this, and let's say come to the settings. Now, you come to the settings, you will have something called community nodes. Now, if you look at the community nodes, I already have installed NetN nodes MCP. If you have if if you haven't installed, you will not, you will see nothing over here. So what you have to do, you have to click on install and then write. Of course, you have to write NetN nodes or you can also go to NetN community nodes page and you can copy it from there and just click on this and install. I already have installed it, so I'm not going to install. You can see it says MCP client. Now come back here to the workflow. You can see the demo workflow. Now you will see something like this or you start from scratch or something if you're coming in for the first time. Now an add first step, let's click on a chat trigger. Okay, so I'll just add a chat trigger and just go back to canvas for now. Okay, uh, let me just show this here. Okay, now when chat message received. Now you'll see an add icon here, right? A plus icon where you can add other components of flow that connects with the chat message received. Now what happens with this chat message received? It's nothing but an input question. Right. Imagine if you have a chatbot and the, what you what you do in the chatbot, you ask a question, right? This is what it is. Whenever you ask a question, whenever a message received, this flow will get triggered, whatever you're going to stitch it now. Right. So I'm going to add an AI agent here. So let's search here called AI agent. And you can see I have an AI agent. I'll just keep it here. Now, an AI agent by default has three minimal uh, sub component or modules within it. One is chat model. It, agent will need a model to perform, right? Something. So 
if it's an agentic AI thing, there's a very different thing between AI agent and agentic AI. Maybe that is some other discussions that we'll have, but uh, you need a chat model. So let's connect open AI. You can connect any model. Like you can also connect Olama because my Olama is running. So you just have to make sure that you have configured Olama on N10. Watch my videos where I have shown with Olama on N10. Uh, just to do heat here, GPT-40, okay. And it is fine. Now you can see I have added a chat model, open AI chat model. I already have my credentials. If you are doing it for the first time, you have to create a new credential for open AI where you have to give your API key. So I already have it. So I'm not going to do that. Now I'm not, I'm not keeping any memory. You can keep uh, simple memory or Postgres, whatever, but I'm not going to do that. Now in the tool, we can add MCP. But before that, let's ask a question here. Like, let's say, what is AI? And let's see if our you know chat model you can see it's running right now the agent is uh, asking the model and you can see it over here right now it answers it that ai refers to the field of computer science blah 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 now let's go to ai agent double click it and you can see it has connected chat trigger node you should do define below we will define our own right and then bring up and then bring up or let me write it like maybe let's write this is the user message for tool for the tools notification tools notification node or something okay now i'll keep this let's go back to canvas i think i missed one more thing here you have to bring chat input here so let's bring the chat input yeah this is fine now this chat input becomes a new jam you can see this is the user message okay uh for the let me see if it's here tools notification mode. yeah this is fine now let's go back to canvas and now what we're gonna do uh, I'm just going to make this a bit small. I'm going to add tool. Now in the tool, you're going to add MCP client tool. You search MCP and you will find out MCP client tool. Just add the MCP client tool. You can see I already have some two different credentials created. But if you don't have anything, that's what I assume. You click on connect using command line studio. Okay, uh, no, it's not studio. Excuse me. Standard input output. Uh, because in, uh, MCP is based on JSON RPC, right? That's what I explained in the first video on in this MCP playlist. So how you can find it out, right? If you go to, let's say, uh, here you have to write NPX and I can give you this command, guys. You know, I have this in my uh, notepad here, right? So these are the command you can find it out on MCP uh, thing as well, but I will create a readme and give it to you. This is what we're gonna enter. You can see NPX and this argument and here you're gonna add, make an expression. Okay, and you can see this is uh, not the password here. You have to bring Brave API key because we're gonna we are using a Brave MCP server to do web search. Here you have to you have to bring your MC uh, Brave API key. So let's say this is your API key. You bring your API key from here. You have to go and get Brave API key from Brave website, right? Brave browser. You probably be aware about it, but yeah, uh, you just have to create environment and save it. I'm not gonna save it because I already have that, right? So I'm just gonna close. You can see I already have MCP client, standard input uh, output account to set automatically. So it will be the tool description and operations would be list tool. So this one is fine. So I'm not gonna make any change over here. And we're gonna add one more tool, MCP client tool. And here in this one, you have set automatically this is fine in operations you should execute tool here we're going to execute and in the tool name we're going to add because we're going to get that let ai get that right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you put this and here you should uh, say define automatic automatically by the model the model should define which or like whatever tool parameters it needs to perform that task like web search or whatever so here i'm doing from ai tool select tool to execute there can be multiple tools also like this is what you do in mcp client one and i think let's go back to canvas this looks good and now you can see we have uh, a workflow where we have a chat message triggered and whenever the chat message is triggered it will use an ai agent that has an access to external mcp servers like brave wave search we are not we are not building that here within the nit and that has been built uh, already we are using it as an external connector uh, and giving an open ai chat model so that's the workflow that you have to create and of course you you ask the question and it's gonna work so i'm, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough make sure that ai agent you have this user message prompt and we are passing the chat input and an input variable and you have defined below 
and go back in the chat model you have uh, our credentials with gpt4 model or olama model or growth model or gemini models whatever model you you choose two mcp client mcp client and mcp client one one is list tools and the other is execute tools because there can be multiple tools right you can do it now if i go inside it make sure you have a credentials already set up and tool description is automatically operation is list tool whatever and this in this in this is this right now sometimes guys it it might uh it fails because the connections are not established so you have to make sure that you you kind of use the uh you know uh right kind of use the right uh, uh prompt you know to ask the question okay so i'm gonna say let's say uh use brave web search tool to get to get latest news on thailand earthquake the problem is because this mcp server is running externally there might be some issues if if it's not working at a time uh, you try it again and make sure you know you ask it the right way and if it's not if there might be errors you know like some of time if you're not configuring it right yeah but it it will work okay most of the time it, it it should work and if you are facing any problems let me know in the uh, comment box of course or you can reach out to me through my social media channel but you can see what a beautiful answer we got here are the latest news update on the recent earthquake in thailand and myanmar you can get the myanmar thingy here right you can see myanmar in pictures maps it gives you the url and links it's fantastic right now you can bring external servers mcp servers within nitn as well right and here it works as a client nitn works as an mcp client and you have a server hosted on like somewhere that npx can use it uh node node can use it it's created by brave right we are using brave search uh mcp server you can use any server you want you know it's up to your use cases and problem statements right now this is the workflow very simple workflow we created I and mean, we can make it more complex you can add uh, let's say simple memory over here right you, you add that memory so the memory will be added as well here. Now you can ask follow-up questions to it. And you can do, of course, let's make sure we refresh it. Now you can ask, you can add more components. Let's say you want to publish something on LinkedIn, right? So here I'm gonna search, let's say LinkedIn. And in LinkedIn, you have to create a, create a post. Now, if you want to create a post, of course, we have to set it up, go on LinkedIn, develop a portal, get the API keys or whatever. And here you can, it will post it for you. Let's say if you want to run it on like uh, once in a night, once in every night and you want to post the latest news on Thailand or Myanmar or anything, you know, you just have to set it, set this up and it will trigger it uh, like a Chrome job or something and it will post it on LinkedIn using all of these tools and models. So it's up to you. How do you define these uh, drag and drop components, the workflows automation, but I wanted to introduce MCP or NITN. I hope you liked the video. If you like the video, please hit the like icon and share the videos and channel with your friends and to peer. Have any doubts, questions? Of course, you know how to reach. Uh, reach out to me through social media channels and also comment in the comment box. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.